Hi everyone. So during this systematic literature review process, the most of the researchers have a common issue, which is how they can merge data or files from different sources. For example, they have downloaded multiple sheets from scoopers or they have downloaded from multiple databases. So in this video, we'll be learning how we can merge them quickly and how we can remove duplicates from uh, those databases. Okay, so the first thing here, I have already opened a blank workbook where I'm going to import the data. Okay, so there would be a few steps which you must need to follow in order to uh, uh, merge all data uh, from different sources. The first thing which we need to do is we need to import data. So we are we are going to do that by using Power Query. Okay, so uh, I'll be going on to this data source. Uh, data tab so once you are there you can just click on the get data and from the file so if you are using microsoft excel or csv file it's up to you uh, i'm in this case i'm using uh scoopers database which is basically uh, extracting your file in csv format so that's why i'm using csv so once you click on the csv the system will ask you uh, the source of that file which you want to import here. Okay, so uh, my files are obviously in in this. So I'm going to merge these three files, six, four, and five. I'm not sure what are these files, but okay, just for uh, illustration purposes, I'm just uh, going to import my first file, which is uh, one of these Coopers uh, databases. So I exported that and here is the system imported all it and this is the data which you can see. Okay, so available in that. So I'm just going to click load and you can see that the system have already created another sheet, worksheet with the scoopers uh, six, the file name. Then again, I have to go back to the data and then again get data from csv file and this time i'm going to import the next file which is csv5 okay so this would be another file and you can see that the same process has been repeated And finally, I'll do same process for my third file, which is CSV3, uh, 4, okay? So now I have imported four different data files in one Microsoft Sheet uh, workbook, sorry. And I am going to delete all the empty sheets. So now these three files, or three sheets or containing all my data. Remember, if you are working for different databases and you are importing data for, from different databases, so what you need to do is you need to make sure the first column, uh, sorry, first row, the, the column headers, they should be same, okay? So the system will recognize all the data from your column header. So that's why make sure you rework on those databases and change the names uh, of all those, uh, maybe there are uh, different names in the different data sheets. So what you can do when you import the data, you can change the names and keep it symmetric. So everybody should use the same, uh, so every sheet should use the same uh, headers, okay? So this is the important tip when we are working with the merge, uh, merging the data from different sources, okay? now. Uh, this is the first step completed. All data is imported in this sheet. Now the next step is I want to combine all these three sheets into one so I can analyze and remove duplicates and all this. So what I can do is I need to use this power query. Uh, please make sure uh, you follow the right steps. Maybe if you are not doing it rightly or correctly, then maybe there are some problems with that. So what you need to do is you need to go and uh, to the power query get data and from here this time you will go for 
from other sources and then I want you to open a blank query okay so once the blank query is open okay now you can see that, that the blank query is open so you just need to uh, write this command excel dot current workbook and then you just use parenthesis and click ok now your work is already being done the data is is already here the table one two three because this is from cheat one two and three so we can just delete this one because we don't need this and then this here you can see an expand button so you can just click on this expand button and the system will give you all the uh, tables and all the headers where, wherever whatever uh, you want to bring into the next source okay and just click okay now your work is done okay so every uh, sheet is combined here and you have all the data ready with you okay so that's it very simple but uh, very effective way of combining all these uh, data sets now what you can do for next you can do all the filtration here you can remove columns you can remove uh, rows you can uh, remove duplicates it's up to you so if you click here you can see that uh, remove duplicates again so you can remove all the duplicates here so uh, du duplicates already removed and whatever work you are doing here you can see these commands are okay, uh, appearing on this uh, applied step so once you are done with all your filtration the next step would be to bring this data to the excel sheet so for this purpose you will click here uh, close and load now when you click on the close and load you will see now here you have all your data ready for your uh, usage so you can just check this data and this is like your pivot tables and you can use all those uh, charts tables and anything if you want to work with that uh, in the form of pivot tables you can do that okay so this is how you can merge data from different sources without having any problem uh, in the microsoft excel sheet I hope this will work for you all and if you have any queries on this you can ask me in the question or in the live sessions. Thank you very much and have a very nice day.